From a young age, our next guest learned what the magic of books could do for a developing mind. Fast forward, she's now a freelance writer and educator, and her fiction and nonfiction pieces have appeared in Huffington Post, Yahoo Voices, among many others. She's very excited about the recent release of her debut middle grade novel. This is called Courtesy of Cupid. We welcome Nashe Jones to Virginia this morning. Congratulations on the book. Thank you. This Thank is you. exciting. I was getting up to speed before we got started. You've published in many spaces before before, but what's it like seeing it come out into the world? It is um, surreal is the only word I can use for it. Having your book, um, being able to go to even like the grocery store or Walmart or Target and seeing your book on the shelf, it's it's surreal. It's like having a book baby. Yes, yeah. otherworldly and now book babies out in the world and folks yeah. are picking it up and enjoying it. Let's talk a little bit specifically what this is about. So middle, um, Courtesy of Cupid is a middle grade rom-com. So it is, uh, Erin Johnson is our main character here. Um, and she's really academically driven. She wants to be a um, biologist when she gets older. She wants to cure colon cancer. She's in the eighth grade. So she has all of these lofty dreams and goals, but there's one person who is in her way, um, her arch nemesis, Trevor Jen. Mm. Well, at least she, she believes in her origin story, he is her arch nemesis. So um, she finds out on her 13th birthday that she is the daughter of Cupid. And so she starts to use her magical powers to kind of make Trevor fall in love with her so she can win this uh, presidency of this club that she wants to be um, president of. And the exciting thing too is not only is this book baby out in the world, but your next one will be close behind. So this is part of an upcoming series. Yes, hopefully. So it's like uh, what I'd like to finally uh, nickname my Black Girl Magic series. Um, so the next uh, book is tentatively named right now As You Wish, um, and it follows her cousin Birdie, and it, it follows West African trickster god Anansi versus Greek mythology with Cupid. Nishé, as an author, and you're an educator, and you're working with children, where did these ideas come from? Was this something that you woke up and you thought, I better jot that down before it gets away, or are you workshopping this for a while? How does it come together? Um, so for a while, I guess even when I was younger, I've always wanted to be a writer. It sounds a little bit like a cliche, but I definitely was the kid who put my... Um, like a book inside of a math book and was reading all these different types of books. Um, some of the books that stuck with me the most when I was a kid were things like Sweet Valley High and um, the Archie comics and Boxcar Children and Nancy Drew. And I kind of wanted to bring back the magic of what I felt like in childhood. Some of these like really sweet kind of stories that um, are perfect for the upper middle grade level. Um, this in particular, I love Greek mythology, so I wanted to find a way to tie it in that was kind of different than uh, Percy Jackson, but kind of in the same vein, but with uh, like light romance, I call it romance light. So yeah. it sounds like in, in forming that perfect recipe, you had these pieces that were super of interest to you yes. and then wove this all together. How are folks responding? Oh, they, um, I think my favorite part, they, it is, um, I will say, sorry, I'll start here. So it, it recently is a New York Times um, Kids Book Club of the Month pick for February, and it is an Indigo um, Book Club pick for um, February for the month, and then it was also an Indie Next Book Club pick. So there, it's getting a lot of great response, which I'm extremely happy about, but one of my favorite things is actually getting responses from the kids who are reading it. It's great that adults are enjoying it, but what really matters is the response from the kids who are enjoying it and finding the magic and joy in that. And we've talked about this being a middle grade rom-com. So it is for, you know, adults are enjoying it too, but it's for a certain pocket or age range of, of young readers. Did you set out to write that type of book because you are an educator? Yes, yeah, so, so I found that there was like a hole in the market for books. Um, and, and particularly this has been happening. I know that uh, young adult has been growing exponentially over the years. Um, but we see a gap between what considered young, younger young adult and then um, upper middle grade. So those kids who are anywhere from 10 to 14, really, um, they're not really ready for the older young adult books, but they are kind of past those 10-year-old um, adventure stories. And I wanted to write something that was specifically for them. You are spot on because this is yeah. right in our wheelhouse. And yeah. there's that pocket of where you want to keep a young reader engaged. Yes. 
in an adventure that they can relate to yes. and be excited about. Well, what an adventure for you, Nishé. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Can't wait to have you back for the next one. Courtesy yes. of Cupid, perfectly timed. And of course, we wish you the best, uh, very best success and want you to come back when the new book comes out as well. If you'd like more information on Nishé Jones, we'll post a link on our website by early this afternoon. VirginiaThisMorning.com is the spot to go. Mr. Bevins, middle school aged kiddos are going to love this book. We're going to love jumping into the kitchen in just a few minutes. Congratulations, Nishé. Sounds fantastic.